Hey, you folks, just one of our little fly on the wall vlogs again. Um, just show you a little bit of what we're eating. I'm gonna try and show you what I've been eating all, well, for, for a while now. I have, in the morning or mid-afternoon, I've been eating one single avocado, and all I literally do there is slice it open, take the core out, and I just eat it with a spoon, a little, little spoon, small spoon, full of potassium, full of good fats in that as well, folks. So that's what I've been doing there, and also I've been having this stuff as well, only because I've been on the antibiotics. Kefir, you ever heard of that? Because when you have strong, anti or any antibiotics, apparently it um, kills all your stomach flora, all your bacteria in your stomach. So I've been having this kefir natural yogurt there. I only have a small bowl of it. I have a little, um, what's that little ramekin we got, Shell? I don't know where it is, I can't find it. Oh, it's about somewhere, isn't it? So I'll just have like a little ramekin of that. I need to keep the, uh, that's the plain one. I don't have the flavored one at all. And that's all I eat until our evening meal where we have meat and vegetables. When I say vegetables, not root vegetables, it will be something like green veg, broccoli, asparagus and stuff like that. It could be sprouts, it could be cauliflower, it could be kale, all that sort of gear with, as I say, a meat. So let's just show you what we've got tonight. Sharon's just cooking it off in the uh, frying pan there. That is liver. Now I know a lot of you probably don't like liver, but um, it's full of nutrition. And uh, as I say, we're having that with some bacon, liver and bacon. And we went down the road and got some butcher's sausages, not the cheap ones with all the fillers in. So we're gonna have that with a couple of sausages as well, folks. So that's today's meal. We're gonna prepare it, we'll get it all ready, and then we'll show you it when it's cooked. And that will all be washed down with, throughout the day, green tea, which I'm having, and also fizzy water. We buy our fizzy water in bottles in, is it Tesco, Sharon? Yeah. Yeah, and, because we don't drink tap water. So we get it in bottles like this, it's only cheap. How much is that, about one pound 40? How much is it for about four, Shell? About one pound, yeah, about one pound 40. About one pound 40 for four. I know you shouldn't buy water, but there you go, that's the way it is, isn't it? We like fizzy water, you see. So we have that, and I drink that on its own, but Sharon has it with sugar-free juice. But as you well know, we've been having the uh, cranberry juice. So I'll put a splash of this in it, and that'll be my morning drink. I need to sort of take a pint glass and just put about that much in the bottom of a pint glass, basically, and that's what I've been having. And then throughout the day, I'll have tea and fizzy water in the pints, and that's what we do. So that's what we were having today. What have you had today, Sharon? Can't remember. Can't remember. But there's also oh, no- crab sticks. Oh, she had crab sticks, yeah. But me personally, I'm totally off dairy. And I have been, as I say, since Christmas day. And all I can say is, is that the amount of energy which I've got back is fantastic. I've got so much energy now. And um, I feel really good within myself now. So it's just a matter of sticking to it. This is not a, a, a diet. This is a, an eating way of life. It's about getting processed foods out of your your system basically, and that's what we're doing now. So we're eating well, we're eating good quality food, but we're not eating processed food. Anything in a packet, we're not eating. Anyway, we'll show them when we come back, shall we? Just when we dish it up, won't we? Okay. See you in a minute, folks. Right, she's so just dishing up now, folks. Let's show you what we got here. Look at that, look. That one with the potato on, that's uh, Jimmy. Who's it? Jimmy, is it? So he has obviously potatoes still, it's not a problem. So as you can see, we're not, uh, although we're eating clean, we're not eating bad at all, because this is uh, absolutely lovely. Look at that, look. Nice green veg there, as you can see. Charlotte's doing the same as us. She's having the same. Yeah, she's got to get a thin bride. Baby Frank, let's have a look at little Baby Frank's there as well. He's got uh, sausages and a little bit of liver there with a bit of greens as well. So that'll all be cut up in a minute, that, the greens. The gravy is made out of the juice of oh, the I've vegetables. Got to water to do that, because for the first time ever, I pressure cooked my veg. It cooked a lot quicker. And when I poured the, the water, it was like green. So you could, you've got all the goodness. It's not been like washed away. Washed away or steamed away, it's like where it goes up in so smoke. Quick. Yeah. So we've got a nice little gravy going on there as well, folks. It may not look a lot, but it will fill you up if you have a nice cold yeah. drink with it as well. You and don't need big dinner, liver, Sharon, this is pig's liver you said, not didn't liver. you? I thought we'd buy mistake, but I've just tried a bit. I thought, oh, what have I done? It's very, very tender. It's the first time I've had pig's liver. I usually have lamb's liver. Very tasty as well. Yeah. And liver is also very, very cheap from your butchers, isn't it? Yeah, very, yeah. very cheap meal. 
Don't get it from a Blink supermarket if you can. Go to a butcher's and get it, and it does taste a hell of a lot different, doesn't it? Even bacon crust rolls, I never love them. Yeah. So you're just waiting for what now? Water. Because you needed a bit more water. I thought I'd have enough water in the pressure cooker, but stupid me didn't think you don't put much of water in the pressure cooker, do you? Of course you? you don't. Right, so just add a little drop more water there. There you go. I'd say only because normally you'd make it on the saucepan, wouldn't you? And you'd have plenty of uh, cooking liquor there. But that looks lovely. Look at that gravy, folks. Look at that. Got a bit of veg in there still as yep. well. Yeah. There we go. So again, simple food, and it's all none, no processing going on there, folks. It's all lovely and natural. And the thing is, when you've got all these gadgets, pressure cookers, and it doesn't take long. No. There you go. Look at that. And we like eating out of these bowls because we do like a lot of gravy and it says spilling over the edge of a plate. Yeah. There you go. Lovely old job. What one's mine, Sha? That one. That one's mine. Put some more. And then the dogs have gravy when they're dinner, see? That's yeah. The same. So we'll just use the last bit there and just water it down a bit and that goes on there. Dog biscuits, isn't it? They have, yeah. don't they? Right, that's it, folks. So that is my dinner tonight. And all I've had, as I said to you, is uh, one avocado and I had a, a little ramekin full of that key, kia, kefir. And uh, yeah, that's all I've had today. We'll do another one tomorrow. We'll bring to you tomorrow another meal. It'll be different than today, but again, home cooked. But once you've got these appliances, food cooks quick. It doesn't need to cook a lot in a long time, shower, does it? Yeah. Especially with the, the Kasori pressure cooker, which we got. That cooks Still stuff. blows my mind is how quick you can cook a stew. Yeah. I made Frank a chicken stew yesterday because he was not being that well and it was done in 15 minutes. Yeah. So there you go, folks. Just a single day eating in our house. We won't have no snacks, no crisps or anything like that at all. And also, oh, don't forget, I'm also eating eggs as well. So eggs are not off the menu. It's just dairy that's off the menu. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this little fly on the wall thing. We'll see you in the next video. And until then, bye for now. Bye.